pushing me south. There's no choice but to head for that beach. guarding this side of the ferry either. Where are the Quinn? They're on landfall, I guess. I better go find it. Should be to the northeast. Shane's weak to purge water. So these are the ruins of San Francisco. The entire city of crumbling towers. And somewhere buried out here is Thebes. I hope Alva and the Quim can help me find it.
There's a Cyclops drone monitoring this area. I need to grab its data. That must be the entrance to landfall up ahead. Is that her? The living ancestor. The Diviner wasn't lying. She looks peaceful enough. Ancestor, you may approach. This is Landfall, right? I'm looking for Alba. Overseer Bohai ordered us to invite you before him should you approach. Please, come with me. Go, let him know we're coming. Diviner was right. Overseer Bohai, a stranger just walked through the gate. I knew Alva would not dare lie. You do look like Sobek. Is Alva here? I need to talk to her. I will consider your request once it is determined what you are. A living ancestor as Alva believes, or a threat lurking in such a guise. I am no threat, okay? Back on the mainland, your soldiers fired on me without warning. So you say, infidel. None of those you engaged survived to bear witness. I held off on your squad when... May I present our honored CO. So... Here she is, our great mystery. Well, Bohai, what have you divined? What is she? A mystery indeed, my CEO. How can she appear as Sobek, and yet know nothing of our ways? Are we to believe that a living ancestor was born to this wretched land, an ocean apart from the realm of the Chosen? And if so, to what end? I cannot answer. Only she can. But I warn you, no falsehood will satisfy us. Now speak. Why are you here? What is your purpose? I'm looking for a place called Thebes. And what do you seek there? Alva told me a little bit about what you're after. I guess you could say, I want what you want. A way to heal the world. As I suspected. Tell her. We found Thebes. The final resting place of Ted Pharaoh's secrets. It isn't far. But the way is closed to us. Machine attacks have cut us off from the site. Diviner Alva is there, along with a complement of diggers and soldiers. Is she all right? Our scouts tell us that a machine has our people pinned behind their defenses, but they're holding out. Machines, huh? I can help with that. Alva told us that you are indeed formidable. But I have a few questions first. We will answer what we can. So you found Thebes. How? The ancestors revealed it to us not long after we made landfall. Almost a year ago. 
through a scrap of ancient data discovered by Alva and verified by myself. It contained details about the construction of a great underground palace. Where, exactly? Close. Beneath the Great Pyramid in the ruins beyond. Figures. Ted loves his pyramids. Have you been inside? No. That has been a problem, one of many. And we will solve them all in time. Getting back to the site is the one at hand. I hope you're as effective against machines as Diviner Alva suggested. What exactly are you looking for inside Thebes? I thought Alva brought back the data you needed. We risked much to cross the ocean. Therefore, we must unearth every possible link to the legacy while we are here, especially one as important as Thebes. We will not sail back until I have plundered its secrets. So, Alva reports to you. I was chosen by my colleagues on the Board of Overseers to supervise data retrieval on this expedition, yes. And you're in charge of the expedition? He is far more than that. You are addressing the cousin of the Emperor of the Quinn. Heir to the vast holdings of the Great Delta, the first CO in five generations. All she needs to understand is that I am the authority here. And my will is to attain the secrets of Thebes. Mine too. We're in luck. You crossed the ocean on these ships? Couldn't have been easy. Greatness is never easy. Indeed. It took seven years just to build the flotilla. This expedition is the most important undertaking of our generation. A quest for knowledge across the gaping sea with nothing less than the fate of our tribe at stake. And none of it would have been possible without the will of the CO. The voyage was difficult. The wilds here even more so. Our sailors and soldiers have suffered much. I know that. But all for the glory of the Quen. Good to know. What kind of machine has your people pinned down near Thebes? A Thunderjaw. We've dealt with them before, but this one is... Tougher, stronger, and it has black armor? Yes. How did you know? Doesn't matter. Won't be easy, but I can take it down. Then destiny shines upon us, as I knew it would. A living ancestor now walks among us, and she will help me attain the secrets of Thebes. Resupply here if you must. Then on to Thebes at the base of the pyramid in the ruins. We will follow when our scouts confirm you've cleared the way. Scouts found ancient ruins west of here. They claim to have seen a relic of the ancestors inside, but couldn't find a way to retrieve it. Perhaps a living ancestor could discover a way where others could not. Maybe if I find myself in the area. You ready for guard duty? Only the ancestors' guns. Okay, off 
to the big pyramid to fight the Thunderjaw. Wings holding up. A barbarian! Run, stranger! There's a killer machine about! The machine will kill you! There you are. I guess we're doing this. There you are. I guess we're doing this.
Major! Over here! You killed that machine! Your CEO sent me. Come on over, you. A word. I need to speak to Alva. By all means, then. Open the gates! Aloy! Over here! Alva. I'm glad you're okay. Oh, you got rid of that machine. But what are you doing here? There's something inside Thebes that I need. I went to Landfall. I met your CEO. We came to an agreement. Kind of. And you're going to help us get in? I guess so. The whole thing was a little... tense. There was something off about that guy. And I don't understand what he wants from Thebes. I thought we found the data that your people needed back on the mainland. That data will take us years to sift through. The CEO wants faster results. Aloy, you have to be careful. He's... There they are! The legacy tells us that Elizabeth Sobek helped the ancestors cast aside all obstacles. And so it has been today. You have been true to your word. I'm pleased. Thebes awaits us below, shall we? Quite an excavation. Much of this was flooded. We had to pump a great deal of water out. Behold, the door to Thebes. A door like no other. Well, you're right about that. It's designed to open for only one man. Ted Farrow. But the legacy tells us that he worked closely with Sobek. He trusted her. Surely she could open the door, and so surely can you. Not gonna happen. At least not from this side. You said she was a living ancestor with Sobek's eternal essence. Uh, if I may... Pharaoh, great as he was, did not build his palace alone. We know this from scraps of data we found. The ones that pointed to this location. And we found evidence of passages below. Maybe they were built to aid construction. Or for servants. We can't reach them. The way is flooded and they're too far underwater, but... I... Yeah. I can reach them. There might be another way in down there. You see? With Sobek, there is always a way. Then do what you must to get us inside. This water's warm. Seems like a hot spring. Rupture up there. Maybe a way in. Yeah, this could get me inside.
Okay, looks like this tunnel leads deeper into the structure. Stop the turbine. Good. like an exercise room? Here I am again, hiding in the gym, writing to stay sane in this crazy place. I can't believe Gregory's dead. Our so-called spiritual leader was fine yesterday, and then suddenly passed away in his sleep, and no one will talk to me about it. They treat me like a child, whispering behind my back, as if I can't cope with death, even after the end of the world. So Ted had other people in here with him, including a teenage girl. The living area. It's pretty big, too. There's nothing normal about a scientist, his daughter, a guru, and, well, let's face it, a harem living through the end times in the trillionaire's underground survival bunker. But now that Kagori's gone, I'm worried things will get even weirder. He helped keep Ted stable for a couple of years, sort of. Without him, who knows? And we don't even understand what happened to him. The girl's right. Nothing normal about Ted.
I know everyone's reeling after Grigori's uh, untimely demise. He was a deeply spiritual man who wasn't afraid to rip back the curtain and gaze where few men dare. I've asked Dr. Sumtau to, you know, check on what happened to him. I'm sure he had some kind of condition or something. The main point is that while we certainly miss him, we will go on. Everything's gonna be okay. Yeah, something tells me it didn't turn out that way. Let's hope this is the way to the main door, so I can let the Quinn in. Look at this place. It's pretty fancy for a survival bunker. There, the door. Let's hope I can open it from the inside. That looks like some kind of access control. Most of Ted's women repulse me, okay? They're like contestants on a housewife sim preening for the hubby's attention. But Brianna, the hollow singer, she's different. She's always been nice to me. And I love her voice, which has been conspicuously silent since Grigori died. She doesn't speculate or gossip like the others. She knows something. I can tell. And I'm gonna find out what it is. Ah, good. An emergency exit function. Emergency exit. The door is open. Destiny is upon us. I knew you could do it. What's going on? The CO is preparing to enter Thebes. Oh, why are you dressed like Ted Pharaoh? I am Pharaoh, renewed. My essence is the same as his. Across the years, across the generations, his soul is my soul. His will is my will. We are sundered in only one way. I need his final testament, his deepest secrets. And now that the door is open, those secrets are within my grasp. When I have them, I will be complete as he was. I will have everything I need to save our homeland, and, as Pharaoh did, the world. Okay. I think there's some confusion here about who Pharaoh really was. No one knows better than I who he was, who he is. Me. The Renewer, greatest of the ancestors, the man who saved the world, and you. You understand, Sobek. You are her, Pharaoh's harbinger, his assistant. Come, we will descend into Thebes together, as it should be. Bring her the raiment. Raiment? 
As he is Pharaoh, you are Sobek. For an occasion, this momentous, shouldn't you wear proper business attire? Whoa. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I am not wearing that. No way. You will wear the proper attire to mark this moment. Or what? It is said Sobek valued life above all else. Is this true? Fine. I'll wear your raiment. Proceed. Look at this place. The grandeur. Pharaoh's domain. Simply breathtaking. Excellent. Somewhere in here, Pharaoh left his secrets. Let's go find them. Your magnificence. Perhaps we should leave guard behind to cover our head. Indeed. And let it be done. I think this way might lead down. Excellent. Remember every detail of his, Bohai, for posterity. It will be its own chapter. No further discussion of your feet, Bohai. Brianna told me that Grigori hacked into restricted files and found out something awful. That Ted murdered important people who worked on Zero Dawn. Did Ted punish Grigori? Kill him for discovering what he did? How could that be? Dad said there wasn't a mark on Grigori's body. His heart just gave out. Find anything interesting? I am... Um, I can't make sense of it yet. So hey, this is weird. Yeah, I tried to warn you. Yeah, sort of. I'll explain everything if we survive long enough. Those certainly look threatening. Huh. Statues, the guardians of Pharaoh's domain. Those aren't statues. Look out! Get the CO out of here. This is just us then. We have no choice. Good hit. Overseer Bohai. He has decided to return to the surface. A wise choice. We can't afford to lose any more diviners than necessary. So, no more delays. We must proceed. 
Brianna didn't wake up this morning. She's gone. Just like Grigori. And looking up at the giant, hideous statue of Ted in the Great Hall. At his eyes. And I know now that he's watching me. He's watching us all. He's always had power over us. I just never knew how much. Did you discover some data? A fragment. A, a testament to Ted's power. Yes, that looks like the way. When I built this place, when its special systems were designed, I knew what I wanted. Protection, of course. An unlimited power source, that was a given. But also... Control. Over every possible eventuality. After all, you never know what'll happen, especially when the human element is involved. What did you find? Trust me. You don't want to know. I guess I don't. Ever deeper we go. What is that? A reclining throne attached to some kind of apparatus. I wonder what it does. An impressive setup. What is it for? I'm sorry, CEO. I don't know. My focus can't read the data here. What about the living ancestor? Is the data lost to her? Scan the device, if you will. Please, scan the device. Kenya, you Tell mustn't me judge me. Reveals about I had device. no choice. If I said no, what would he do to us? What would he do to you? You're my little girl. I was trying to keep you alive. For what, Dad? Seriously, why? Scan so the we device, can be trapped in this underground nightmare? You know what we have to do. Please. Did you find a recording, Aloy? Yeah. I'll share it with you later. Please, scan the device. Made a minor adjustment to the gene therapy regimen and added a new cocktail to treat the symptoms caused by the mutations. Hopefully... There will be some stabilization after the next treatment. God knows what Ted will do to us if there isn't. The early results were so promising. No signs of aging, no cellular degeneration, but now... Oh, if only I had access to my old lab in Bangkok. Or my old colleagues. Or my old liquor cabinet. 
Stop it. Got to stay positive. For Kenya. You saw something. I could tell. Did the data explain what Pharaoh used this device for? I think he was undergoing treatments to live longer. A lot longer. Really? Could he still be alive? Don't be foolish. If he were alive, he would have kept his essence. It would not have been passed down to me. Remember, he was the renewer. Of course he would have stopped at nothing to grasp the secrets of life and death. But not for himself. Everything he did was for a new beginning. For us, for the Quen. And for his true heir, me. You know, I'm starting to think you're right. You do have a lot in common with Ted Farrow. I knew you would see, in time. Let us continue. His secrets await. Hmm. Is that a small office? For a minor functionary, perhaps? An automated geothermal energy plant right under the city of San Francisco. A marvel. Even I can run it. Look at all this equipment. It, I We're was always more of a visionary than an engineer. Feel it. Which is why I had the foresight to insist on the inclusion of a very unique feature. Just in case anyone ever tries to steal my cheese, so to speak. Break the door down. I'm going to look for another way in. Good idea. It's worked before. Very well. Get to it. Is that a vent of some sort? Not a bad idea. She's gone. Did she make it to the other side? A console. Access Ted's files from here. this morning holding hands must have poisoned themselves i never would have put them to sleep she was just a girl for christ's sake i offered them life and this is how they repaid me by leaving me all alone but i guess i've been alone since this whole thing began alone in bearing the burden for the past for the future same old ted no matter who dies, he's the one feeling sorry for himself. Bless his future. Bless his children. Someday they'll come, and I'll be here to greet them. 
Some tests have my aging has stopped altogether. If anything, my cells are replenishing faster than normal. I just need some time for the mutations to calm down. Time. And energy. Some tests of the reactor can give me what I need. To grow strong again. To get my shit back together. So I can greet the kids. They're gonna need me. My advice. My guidance. And then I won't be alone anymore. Pharaoh's secrets. Are they here? Not the ones you're looking for. Then they must be in there. Trust me. You don't want to go in there. Are you mad? I haven't come all this way to stop now. Pharaoh's legacy is mine. Rigged to melt down if kill them too. No witnesses. They know I'm here. We have to Hit her! These are no, powerless!
We found something that will help. Not just your homeland, but everywhere. But where's the CO? Oh, he's... gone. I guess you could say he gave his life to help us attain the secrets of Thebes. I see. You must think I'm eminently stupid. What? No. No. The CEO was an entitled egotist who twisted our beliefs into a sickening, self-serving fantasy. And you expect me to believe he sacrificed himself for scraps of data? It's time for the truth, and it better be convincing. Otherwise, I'll simply order these soldiers to open fire. Hold on. You're right. To be honest, 
The CO screwed everything up. He brought Thebes down around our ears and died like a gutless coward. But... We really did find something down there that will help your homeland. If I can take it, and use it. Now if I have to, I will fight my way out of here, but it doesn't have to be that way. You can just let me go. And then take credit, when things start to improve. Success certainly does sound better than failure. It seems, then, that our destinies are intertwined. Landfall is open to you. If it will help your cause, you may come and go as you please. But Alva must join you and report back on your efforts. Fair enough. Thebes is of no further value to us. Obviously, we're going back to the flotilla. Alva, I expect your reports to be thorough. Oh, I thought he was going to have us killed. Oh, and instead, I get to join you. Glad to have you. But you're going to need a little help to reach our base. Varl, I made a new friend. I need you to meet her at the Quen Ferry and escort her back. On it. Can't wait to meet her. Trust me, you'll love it there. Varl will give you a better focus and all the data you could ever want. Head to the ferry. I'll join you back east as soon as I can. A diviner must follow the truth, wherever it leads. I'll see you there. <coughs> now that I have Omega clearance, we should have what we need to capture Hephaestus. But before I head to the ferry, maybe I should stop by Landfall. With the CO gone, maybe more Quen will be willing to talk. Might be worth looking around the island, too. I gotta change out of these clothes. I can't believe the CEO made me play dress up.
Summon the city. Talks. Gotta be careful. Doesn't look like the tunnel's working. Maybe my focus can tell me more. Seems to have knocked the Talmud. Maybe the current. Better take a look at the damage. to find the parts of their nest. Must be up there somewhere. I just have to get to them.
Clearly make things easier.
That looks like the part I'm looking for. Neck parts. One down, one to go. Should be harder to follow me in here. The second tall neck part. I should get these back to the tall neck. <laughs> Guess we're done here.
I see you, champion. Sit, please. You shouldn't miss this. Data looks fun. Welcome back. Aloy, I know your experience in Thebes was unsettling, but we have a new problem. Did something go wrong with Beta and the rig? Will we be able to transport you to Gemini? The rig is complete. The problem is Hephaestus itself. It has accelerated its proliferation throughout the Cauldron Network, increasing its power. But with your subfunctions restored, we can still succeed, right? Correct. But the net effect is that absorbing Hephaestus will take longer than previously calculated. How long? Even with Omega Clearance, my current estimate is that the merge will take 35 hours. And each hour increases the risk of detection by the Zeniths. Two cores. Two overrides. What if the merge were carried out by two clones of Elizabeth Sobek, both armed with Omega Clearance? How long then? Half the time? Hephaestus would be unprepared for the simultaneous labor of two operators, in addition to obvious synergetic efficiencies. Calculating. It would reduce the merge time to approximately 4.5 hours. Okay. Varl, it looks like we're gonna need Beta at Gemini. Do you think you can convince her? Uh, I don't know, but I'll try. What about our diversion? Are the pulse generators ready? Only a final test remains. I am confident that if fired in proximity to other cauldrons, the pulses will mask our activities at Gemini from the Zeniths. Good. As long as Aaron can operate one without shooting himself in the face. Aloy, you better get down here. Beta's in bad shape. Okay. Aloy, I believe Varl is still waiting for you, outside Beta's room. I know. I just wanted to talk about something else first. As you wish. So the facility where I recovered Demeter used to be a Faro agricultural research facility. It's where they created the biomass conversion system, but also adamantine wreath. Did Elizabeth know they were working on that? It is likely she was briefed on other efforts to combat the machine swarm. Though her focus was devoted only to Zero Dawn. That makes sense. But they actually got the wreaths to work. If they've been able to deploy it against the Pharaoh Plague in time, Using the data you recovered on the project, I ran several simulations and have concluded that it would never have worked. In all scenarios, the Pharaoh War Machines would eventually hack and deactivate the wreaths before they could contain the swarm. So Zero Dawn really was the only solution. There was a lot of data in the greenhouse facility about agriculture. Do you think it'll help the Quen fix their homeland? I will run a query. Complete. The data contains information about novel crop production methods, which may be beneficial to the tribe in the long term. But new crops aren't going to save the world. So I guess it's on us. 
It is. When I dove down into Vegas, I found data about the man who built the dome over the city. Stanley Chen. It turns out he was a member of Far Zenith. But if he loved Vegas so much, why did he abandon it? Why not try to save it? The Zeniths at their core have proven to be exceptional survivalists. Faced with overwhelming odds of extinction, they chose to flee. Even still, what he achieved... Water to the wasteland, an entire city brought back to life. A thousand years later, the whole place was still on standby, just... waiting for someone to come along and wake it up. So I, uh, found Thebes. What do you think Ted would have done if his life extension treatments had worked? It seems he convinced himself it was his duty to guide future humans. Given the tribal nature of new humans, and his ability to use Omega Clearance on the terraforming system, I imagine he would have convinced one or more tribes to worship him as their patriarchal deity. Okay. Yep, glad that didn't happen. Aside from Gaia Prime and Thebes, there was one other underground facility that was sealed before the Pharaoh Plague reached it. Elysium. The place where Zero Dawn staff and their families went to live out their lives. Do you know what happened to it? Elysium was designed to provide life support for 100 years. My data indicates the facility went offline well before then. Did the Pharaoh Plague find them? Unknown. My connection to the facility was abruptly severed. I found some data in one of the rooms you unlocked. It mentioned that there are still functional seed banks beneath this facility. Why is it there? My predecessor was tasked with reconstituting the biosphere with primary and secondary plant species. Had everything gone according to plan, Humans would have eventually been able to introduce tertiary species, including new crops. Can we access them now? Unfortunately, it will have to wait. I require control over the machines in order to access and distribute the preserved seed stock. And for that we need a Festus. It's something to look into later then. So Gemini has two data cores. I've never seen a cauldron like that. But you mentioned something about seismic activity? When my predecessor attempted to build the cauldron, construction was disrupted by a series of earthquakes. The data core had already been built, but the rest of the facility sustained damage. So, she began again. A second core was built. However, when more tremblers occurred, she abandoned the site. Lucky for us. Are the quakes still happening? No. Though they did also create instabilities in other facilities in the region. I guess I should get going. As you say, be well, Aloy. I think that door had power before, but looks like it's malfunctioning. Looks like some kind of maintenance space.
where this leads. I tried, but it's impossible. I don't think anything will convince her to go. We don't have a choice. Good luck. Beta, you have to come with us. It's the only way. It's one mission. The most important one. We need you. Tell me why you won't go. What if they... What if they take me back, alone, in a cell again? Their slave. Forever. The only way we can end the risk of that happening is by stopping the Zenus for good. And in order to do that, we have to get Hephaestus. The Zenus are a threat to everyone, Beta, not just you. So find your courage. That's easy for you to say. You still have no idea what they're capable of. I told you from the beginning, we'll never beat them. It's hopeless. Beta. Leave me alone! You don't understand! You're right. I don't understand. We have the same genes, the same mind, the same heart. So why can't you find the strength to do what has to be done? Like Elizabeth would. Don't you think I've thought about that? I don't know what piece of Elizabeth I'm missing. I don't know what you have that I don't. I look through all the data from your focus. You were raised as an outcast, shunned and isolated just like me. So what's the difference? What's my defect? He raised you, trained you, but he was never warm or loving. The day he died, the day he gave you that charm, he was going to abandon you. He wanted me to embrace the tribe. But then he gave his life for mine. He loved me in his own way. And that was enough. What did it feel like? It was like having a strength that was always there. It's still there. Even now I hear him in my head when things get bad. But it looks impossible. Look deeper. And then fight like you can win. You don't have to go on the mission. We'll find another way. I'll go. You're right. 
I'll only be safe from them when we succeed. But you have to promise me one thing. Yes, of course. If it goes bad, if the Zeniths find us, I don't want to be their slave again. Do you understand? Okay. Promise? I promise. I could use as much time as you can give me to study up on the merge, to make it as efficient as possible. I'll be ready when you are. I swear. Aloy, whenever you are ready, come speak to me and I'll ask the others to make final preparations for the mission. I am so lost.